Hello children, you're probably wondering what I'm doing in a lawn. Like, you didn't subscribe to a nature channel to watch some guys squat in the plainest grass of all time, but today we're actually out here looking for leaf hoppers, which are a tiny, tiny little unnoticed insect, and it's an entire family of insects that you probably have in your backyard and you don't even know about. And the best way to look for them is just to squat in grass and move your hand around. So I'll show you guys how to look for them and also the amazing diversity of species. Nothing, right? Check this out. You see all the little leaf hoppers jumping around. Well, now you might be asking, how can you tell that there's all this huge biodiversity of leaf hoppers in here when all you could see are tiny little specks moving around in the grass? Well, that's actually because once you see them jumping around, you can actually keep track of where they land and observe them up close. And you could tell that there are so many different species. So let's see how many we could find. This right here is probably the most common species out in this lawn. This is the Bermuda grass leafhopper. This is relatively large for a leafhopper, even though this is still a tiny little insect, less than a centimeter long, in fact. This species is relatively identifiable not only by its somewhat large size, but also by the very pale greenish coloration, the stripy pattern on the wings, and the kind of reddish spotty pattern on the head. The winged adults rarely ever land in good sight like this, so this is a very good observation. This tiny little leaf hopper right here is much smaller than the Bermuda grass leaf hopper, but is another very common species. Oh wait. Alright, I managed to find where it landed again. Anyways, this is a very common species called Agalia delita. It is very plain with no patterning on it whatsoever, but pretty variable in coloration, ranging from this individual being a grayish brown color to more of a regular brownish color, and I've seen some almost be a bright orange. It's incredibly variable. While not a leaf hopper, this little guy is a member of the family Delphacidae or the Delphacid plant hoppers. This is a beautiful nymph of the species Flavoclypius andromedus. This absolutely tiny one already has its wing buds formed. While I've seen individuals of this species be relatively dull, or sometimes entirely orange in coloration, this individual had striking patterning, a good mix of black, white, and orange banding. You can see just how tiny this individual is, so those patterns are hard to notice until looking at it up close. This is another tiny plant hopper called Canadelphax tipe, another member of the Delphacidae family. However, this one is much rarer, and this is the only spot where I've ever seen this species. The overall look of this species with the blue-grayish coloration and that little white window is almost unmistakable. Alright, now back to leaf hoppers. This is some leaf hopper in the genus Planicephalus. While I can't tell what species it is, and the Florida individuals of this genus are likely an undescribed species, it's pretty easy to recognize this genus, with an overall dark coloration, pale stripe on each side running down the wings, a white spotting pattern on the head, and a very blunt, not streamlined at all appearance which is strange for a leafhopper, make these uncommon little guys pretty easy to identify. This species right here called Graminella villica is one of the cutest in my opinion. First of all, they're absolutely tiny and are almost always this pale yellowish color with kind of a orangish brown or darker yellow stripes running vertically down the wings as well as horizontally across the thorax. But I absolutely love the head with those huge bright yellow eyes and the very distinctive black spots in between the eyes. Graminella villica is an almost unmistakable species. Those have all been amazing hoppers, but my personal favorite in terms of color pattern is the Brazilian leaf hopper. And the one thing I've noticed is that instead of preferring the open grassy areas of this lawn, the Brazilian leaf hopper seems to prefer these more leafy areas. So by doing the same thing, sifting through these leafy areas with my hand just like this should be able to yield an easy 
few Brazilian leafhoppers, and I already think I saw some jumping around, so let's see. This is the absolutely unmistakable Brazilian leafhopper. Check out those almost oval looking patterns. A perfect mix of black, white, and bright yellow. Like I've been saying many times before, leafhoppers are absolutely tiny insects. But this species is so vibrant that you can see the colors even when they're flying. As tiny as these little guys are. Alright, we seem to have reached an absolute gold mine over here, or should I say leafhopper mine, because there are hundreds of little leafhoppers, mostly Brazilian or Bermuda grass leafhoppers, just jumping around all over the place here. So let's see if with so many around, we should be able to get some really good up close footage of one jumping and see just how quick these tiny little cute bugs are. Just found this Brazilian leafhopper perched right on top of this plate of grass, the perfect spot to do this test. At a quarter speed, you could see it made some really coordinated ricochets off these blades of grass. As you can see, I'm about as zoomed in as I possibly can be on this Graminella villica, but what you can't see in the camera is that I'm also slowly moving my hand towards it to stimulate it to jump. Let's see if we could get a closer look on what happened before. Even as zoomed in and slowed down as I am, it still looks like an instantaneous movement. Now, the way these guys can jump so fast is because their back legs are basically spring-loaded. So, their two hind legs are very long and strong, but are hidden very well because they tuck them all the way up to almost their face. So their back legs are folded all the way up, reaching along the entire side of their body upwards. And then, when they need to jump, they could just extend those back legs back, and they will jump so many times more than their own body length, even without having to use their wings. It also helps that fully matured individuals are winged, so they could even further propel that amazing leg strength with a couple wing flaps and get them flying really far and really fast away from any potential predators. Hope you enjoyed this video showing that you could find really cool bugs anywhere.